Welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Dante. And if you're familiar with my channel, we talk a lot about censorship, especially here in the West, as they have tried to literally censor just about any spicy content from anime or manga, especially when their Twitter mutants start to go on their rampage. Unfortunately, though, it seems as though that some of this censorship crap is uh, making its way over to Japan. As according to Sankaku Complex, Demon Slayer um, Station ad covers up all the spicy goodness, the big boobas and mommy milkers. Before I go any further into the article to show you guys the censorship, which is very sad and pathetic, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to the channel for more nerd culture, geek culture, hypocrisy within pop culture, all right here. Let's grow this channel together. Let's get into it. All right, so here at Sankaku Complex, the article goes on to say, a new advertisement present at Shinjuku Station was attempting to stir up attention to uh, Demon Slayer's currently airing Yukaku arc, though many have noticed the rather absurd censorship the ad employed to cover the apparently far too obscene cleavage and pantsu. Now, these, I, I don't get it. Maybe these guys are looking at us at the West and saying, hmm, maybe we should do what they're doing to please the Westerners. Please, to God, don't do what we're doing. We are so far lost and so far gone. Please, I'm begging, don't do what we're doing. Don't even adopt our version of feminism, because clearly, in case you guys couldn't tell, it is supremely toxic. The article goes on to say, a Twitter user shared photographs they took of the advertisement, which featured various Demon Slayer characters, but most importantly, Daki and Nezuko. Let's check it out. As you guys can see, uh, they got this weird rope thing covering up the boob eyes. And of course, for Nezuko, let's go even further. As you guys can see, even clearer, they've really put a lot of effort and time into making sure these string things are covering up her titties. And let's go on to the next one where you see Nezuko, the, of course, the character that sparked a lot of controversy because people were saying, she's too young. Guys, it's fictional. She's not real. Calm your tits. Okay. All right. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, yeah, they are going crazy trying to make sure these things are censored. It, as you guys can see, another one. Same thing, they, 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 set, they covered up the boobas and they covered up the panties. And as you guys can see, a clearer photo of Nezuko, as you guys can see, they had that weird wisp thing covering her boobas. Because as you guys remember last time, American Twitter mutants went on a uh, rampage, a fit of rage, due to the fact that uh, her new power-up, of course, made her grow also enhancing the size of her boobs. Yes, a fictional character made these people lose their godforsaken minds. So, the article continued to say that um, each female character's cleavage and groin was covered by some wispy effect. Some might wonder if the fearful Japanese responsible for this self-censorship were merely trying to prevent a controversy such as the whining that surfaced online as a result of the Uzaki Chan poster and the Love Lives Sunshine poster. Those familiar with Japanese ads, however, know that certain cities have put up way more lewd ads in public. Listen, I think this is insane and unnecessary. Um, I do hope that the, um, the, the crazy uh, activists aren't going crazy over there like they do over here in the states please god <laughs> okay it, just, it also just goes to show you that no matter the character uh twitter mutants are gonna go ballistic remember not long ago guilty 
gear um, bike in uh, because of her enhanced mummy milkers. They also went on a fit of rage again, complaining about, oh my god, why are her boobs so big? Not even gonna play the game because it's so big, it's not right. The male gays are gonna find us attractive. We can't have that. We, I just don't understand it, man. And I'm happy for people like the Love Hina manga creator who's out there fighting the good fight, making sure that manga and anime creators can express themselves freely in their anime and manga art. Because we all know that anime and manga is top tier entertainment. Now, what do you guys think about this um, article? What do you guys think about this weird censorship? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more content. Trying to hit the 500 plus subscribers that can't do it without you. Hit the red subscribe button for more nerd culture, geek culture, hypocrisy within pop culture. We do discuss every so often. All right here on this channel. Let's grow this channel together. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Later.